polishing the cut edge for inspection, a 120 grit flap disc works well, but care should be taken to avoid removing excessive base metal. Make sure to mark all sections of the test coupon with the last name, last six digits of your social security number, and an H or a V for the corresponding position. ASME Section 9 states, each side of the specimen shall be polished and examined with at least a four power magnifying glass. The sum of the length of the unbrazed areas on either side, considered individually, shall not exceed 20% of the length of the overlap. NFPA 99 states that any sign of erosion of base metal is unacceptable, and for this test is an automatic fail for that brazed position. Be aware of your heat placement at all times. For this test, filler metal in excess on the exterior or the interior can be considered a failure. The use of nitrogen as a purge gas is mandatory. Any sign of oxidation on the interior is grounds for failure. This test is conducted in compliance with NFPA 99, ASSE Series 6000, and ASME Section 9. Let's review the Braze Test Specification 15, which will be used in conjunction with the 1.5 inch Medgas Braze Test. Page 1 of the BTS 15 should be reviewed by the company representative and the brazer prior to the start of the braze session. The BTS provides essential information for completing the braze. Page 2 of the BTS 15 test is the brazer qualification record. This is a legal document that may exist for the lifetime of the brazer. It is a field fillable PDF form. Using a computer, it may be downloaded from the NITC website and completed by filling in as little as five fields. Once printed, it may be signed by the company representative supervising the braze session. The information on this form must be correct in legible print and signed by the company representative in order for NITC to process the session. You will want to verify the correct form is being used for the test that is being conducted. The mandatory test for the ASSE 6010 installer is the BTS 15. Beginning at the top of the form, type the brazer's first name, middle initial, last name, and suffix if applicable. Type the brazer's identification number which will be the last six digits of the brazer's social security number. Type the actual braze date for this session. Moving to the lower half of the form, you will see the first line is for the NITC representative or authorized testing representative. If an ATR is required by the training entity, employer, or jurisdiction, type the ATR's name who will be witnessing the session, along with the BRAZE test date. Have the ATR sign where indicated. The ATR may be anyone other than the BRAZER as NITC no longer requires ATRs for the braze session, this line may be left blank. Type the manufacturer or contractor's company name, followed by a slash and the company representative's name. The date should be the same as the braze test date. The company representative, whose name is typed on the BQR, must be present to supervise the braze session. The company representative must sign the BQR, stating to have been designated by the company as their representative for the braze session, and further stating that the company being represented owns a qualified brazing procedure similar or exact to the procedure referenced on the BQR. The following line is for NITC to complete and should be left blank. The bottom line of the BQR should remain blank 
The Brazer will provide a copy of this BQR to future employers to sign and retain, thereby taking responsibility for their employees' brazing. The completed BQR should be checked for correct braze date, ID number, spelling, and signatures. It will need to be placed in an envelope and shipped within the same container as the coupons. The BQR envelope will need to be protected from the coupons that may shift during transport. NITC offers additional medical gas braze tests to cover brazer performance qualification diameter ranges from quarter inch type L through eight inch type K medical gas piping. The brazer performance qualification test table is located on the NITC website. It may be referenced when considering extending a brazer's qualification range. The table correlates test numbers to brazer performance qualification ranges based on nominal pipe diameters. As an example, let's look at the mandatory BTS-15 braze test. By qualifying on the inch and a half type L copper, an ASSE 6010 medical gas installer is qualified to braze 5 8 inch to 2 inch diameter pipe. If station inlets or outlets are to be installed, the brazer should consider also qualifying to the BTS 34, thereby extending the brazer's qualification range down to quarter inch diameter tube. Page one of each braze test specification outlines the parameters of the test and gives the brazer specific instructions for completing the braze. The company representative should provide the BTS to the brazer at the start of the braze session. Page two of the BTS is the brazer qualification record. Like page one, the BQR is specific to each test. It must be properly completed and submitted with the coupons for inspection. Brazer continuity and requalification of NITC's additional medical gas braze test are tied directly to the brazer's initial BTS-15 qualification. NITC has also qualified two modified coupling tests. The BTS-4S EXT and the BTS-6 SEXT were developed in compliance with the NFPA 99 provision for the modification of fitting cup depths to ASME B1650 standard for braze fittings. Beginning with the NFPA 99 2012 edition, the use of dimpling was added to assist in modifying fitting depths. NITC's modified cup tests may be used to qualify brazers for braze fitting depths on 2 inch through 8 inch type L pipe diameters. For additional information on all NITC services, please visit our website at nationalitc.com.